Welcome to episode number five of this Washington Nationals NHL 19 franchise series. And we have played the Pirates on the fight on April 30th, 2018. Yes, it's 2018. We're 21 and 7. But I'm. I don't know. It seems like the match. I'm not we're gonna have a critical situation, but if it if the third game of the series or it's four games, but we're just gonna sim the last game of unless somehow there's a critical situation. No, we won. I know that because I saw that before it switched. I need to hear inside the show. And now it's Joe Ross versus Evan. No, well, we're twenty two and seven, and we're there's me. Okay, so many. We're up five games on the Phillies, but we play the Phillies right here. We play them on. But let's let's see. It's my birthday in this game. Let's do it. Yeah, we won again. It's like the Twins. And Twins, it's not. He's not nine and one. They're Kind of behind. Sorry, guys. Um, and I'm gonna send this one too. I know. Oh, did it? Sergio has a shutout going late in the day and finished it off. Okay. Three rounds for the win. They lost eight of, in the last ten. They only won two games. They're on a one to six game losing streak. The uh, Pirates. We're on a. We're five and a half up on the Phillies. We. I'm probably on a spot like that series. 11 and home runs, first in RBIs, first in average. Okay, Tori Dickerson. Four, five, six, do it for the Pirates in the top of the ninth. 113 pitches. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one Point out. We're probably gonna, I'm probably going to play the full game. We're probably not going to see it in the whole episode. But I'm probably going to play the full the full game of the Phillies and Nationals series the first game because it's not Matt Scherzer because, but it's probably Tanner Roark, I think. I think it's only Tanner Roark. I ain't not. Might be the pitcher that did. I don't know. 0 2 now. Trying to get like a win it. At least a three day winning streak. Trying to. You know, I doubt Scherzer. Oh! And we have the All Star game here in 2018. Yes, I know. Y'all's yeah, so name will be at Nationals Park in this one, but on the Roddy Trenches or the Twins. Straight three, swing and two outs. But, yeah. If there's a critical situation in the next game, and that's, if it's something like this that we're, even if we're losing, I might not do it because we're all won the series if, unless they come back, which they probably won't because they're on the final out. 122 pitches, now, now they're down to their final strike. Here we go, and... Oh, the Scherzer! Throw it a fair start at 1-3, three. three outs, Nationals win! I won the series, so if there's another critical situation in the fourth game, then I'll skip it. But, good job, Scherzer, a complete game shutout. Nine innings, six hits, 11 strikeouts, no one runs, one walk. Okay, here we go. Player of the game, 124 pitches. So we're gonna spotlight the Phillies, the, the Phillies series because they're the second place team, only five and a half bad. So we have a yeah three game winning streak, but look how many d W's or green in that month. We only have seven losses. Now it's all in April. So we're gonna stem this one because we already won the series. We won. We swept the Pirates. It's Rio and Gonzalez versus Aranola. He's two and two. Aranola is three and one. Let's play the game. Okay. See if we play full game. 
I have to leave at 3.30 for my guitar lesson. It's 1.35 right now. I'm I'm leaving for that, DC, that Washington, D.C. And if you, uh, my, fl my flight's around 6, so you're watching set 1. If you watch it when I post it. Um, we're torn. Here we go. Uh, alternate to those uniforms. Uh, yes. Uh, National Spark. Emily Network. Visit the Bid Series. On and I want it raining and presentation mode broadcast. Yes, yeah. And down, Daniel Murphy, not great. I want to do something with the Twins franchise, which I'm probably not at halftime. Uh, fire the coaching staff and make and get new coaching staff and then like trade the player. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay, apparently. Person bad in the lead is zero and bad in four seventeen, and this is the minors. So, yeah, I have been pit the minors, man. Murphy is not as the snowflake. Rendon has a fire, and Ryan Zimmerman has the fire. It's four guys on the Philly to have a snowflake, man. Let's watch your presentation. Have a There is rain in the area, but we've been given the go ahead to get this one. By the way, an opening day of the Twins franchise, the, the Twins won four zero. I'll say I was, I was said in that video I was not doing the Nets video, but they, yeah, they won 4-0. There we go. That's their road uniforms, and I assume I assume that's their road uniforms, and we're wearing alternate two. Two and two, two wins, two losses, two no, two no decisions. Okay. There we go. Lefty versus lefty. What is the umpire doing? Um, I have to get my umpire list. Sorry guys, I set the number umpire. Ow! Hit the set. I set the note. Sorry if I died. My, just sorry if I hit. Into the wind up or, uh, with the uh, in the camera, sorry. Um, yeah, wow. I'm not going to be able to play a full game for the Twins, but I'm here like the Nationals right now. The day that sent, they're, they're like, they're still winning. And they're 9-1. They're, they're like, what, 27-7? They only have seven losses. All in April. A lot of... A lot of green in April, and yeah, we swept the Pirates. I mean, like, man, one and two, oh, foul ball. I don't know that umpire. Maybe Dave Lawrence. No, the only one I always remember is Mike Fillmore. I remember he has, he has the full beard, and the only guy that has that. All the rest don't have a beard, or they have a mustache, or a beard that's not just around their mouth, not a full one. How many foul balls is you know hit off his? And you just yeah, get there, get there, get there by the Phillies dud out like a gazelle. Two outs. There's a lot of dies in the Phillies dud out. That's because they're batting, but it's not September. It's May. They have two other franchises, a custom twins franchise. That video posted two days ago. Jeez. Right, Harper's still on this team because last year, this is last year's rosters. Was still in the Phillies or the Nationals. He was still in the Nationals last year. Okay. Here we go. Trey Turner. Oh, that's not Trey Turner, but here's Trey Turner. Leads Nationals nine stolen bases. Uh, Destin, he basically throws it right down the middle. And uh, yeah, I foul it down the left field line. Innings, he's worked to a whip under 1.20. League average is around 1.3, so that's a respectable. He, only has, he has 88 speed, but he had nine stolen bases in what around 35 games. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I don't need to see it now. I, I don't know who it is, but oh, Adam Eaton. No one runs this year, but seven RBIs, and he's banning something. There we go, righty versus lefty. That's hammered, but it will be an F, uh, L9, so that's... He still has an 18th schedule, now it's Bryce Harper. He leads the Nationals in nine home runs. 
He's been throwing that first pitch curveball for some reason. That's not a um, curveball. And yeah. Three up, three down for both teams and a one, zero, zero. Some weather in the um, area. How do you want me? Well, Matt, the grounds crew members that I talked to prior to the game said the weather we're experiencing right now is expected to move on as the game progresses. They said they'll put extra effort into keeping the field dry. That means they're probably not going to rain, though. Maybe, I don't know. Despite it being a little wet at the moment, we should get this one in uninterrupted. Mm. Signs, they say that, that it's, they're no, they're no, uh, it's like signs. There's no, or there's no, there's no, uh, lull, basically, it's on a, like, she just said there's, it's on an end eventually, but sometimes, she, Master's and, or, or Hani Wani say, it's supposed to continue throughout the whole game, or both of them say, here's Murphy, here's Charles Santana. Spotlight in this. Umpires. Oh, Dave Lawrence. Did I say maybe it was Dave Lawrence? They moved three spots again. Because two games ago I played that had this, or two times ago that I had the games I played that it was this crew. He was the only way umpire. And then it was Matthew Ross. So they basically moved three spots again. It was, he was the home plate umpire. Then he was the first base umpire. And then he went the other way around. Why they didn't? No, actually, no. They just went three spots the first time, and then the next time, with Matthew Ross. So then he went the he went the third, and they went to that first. So yeah. Ricky Hall is black, so homeboy umpire Dave Lawrence, first base umpire is uh, Ricky Holiday. Basically, what it it's what it is on this paper. Dave Lawrence, home by umpire, Ricky Holiday, first base umpire, Dale Parker, center base umpire, Matthew Ross, third base umpire. But then they moved three spots. Second, first home for Matthew Ross, and then they went one spot. It's a home, home to third, third to second, second in the first, first to home. Here we go. Did I say he was going to throw a curveball? Then he did, just not where I... Not where I said it, he was gonna throw it because it would have showed us that, that, that location. He's the umpire that has that beard. Gary Stevens is the same thing, just white. Uh, that's Ricciotta. Okay, here's Daniel Murphy. He's three for 21 in his last six games. He's at 143 in the last six. Not good. See. Man, is that gone? I'm not running. I, uh, I'll run. I think I should have ran. Okay, just stay at three. So, it might have been a run if I actually ran, but I didn't want to be caught and they throw a first and double. Oh, they ran down. He's bat better average-wise, home run-wise, and RBI-wise versus left-handed pitching. And... Well, it's a righty. He's not a... Splits entering play in this one. The one two. And that's only a run. The... Murphy stays at second, but we're up one zero. Now it's Howie Kendrick. He usually throws the first seventy seven miles per hour. And uh, not through the fastball, that's a run. It's only an RBI single, but the run will score and it's 2 0 for Nationals. And also, if it is blown out, or at some points I might quick manage. Like, if it's a blowout, then I quick manage because there's no point. That kind of it's a Twins franchise. I'll quick manage after the video is over, obviously. And it'll be over soon. Well, it's not gone. It is. I was close though. Edge of the warning. About a step away from the warning track. And yeah, National do have a hill, but you can't go on it. And it's kind of not like a fall there is at in Texas and St. Louis. And Tet at Low Light Park, it's the final season. Who is it? Oh, this is the picture. 
No bond and two outs. Okay, all sets. And the two to the Nationals. Seven, eight, nine, do it for the Phillies in the top of the third. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get this guy before he really settles in. Swing and a miss as he starts. Seven up, seven down. End of the second with a punch out, one away. Stepping in, Jorge Alfaro. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark in a row. Rendon loves it. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Hendrick has a read on it. Eight up, eight down. There are two down now. So the next to the place the Phillies. Still raining, but might it let down a little. Oh, dash one right through it. 91 mile per hour forcing fastball. One two pitch, and is that a hit? No, it's not. Oh four, middle of three. It's still two nothing Nationals. One two three, do it for us. Here's how you want it. First for uh, runs per game, average OPS and slugging, and then yeah, first in, in NL rank and MLB rank, and yeah, home runs and stolen bases, not that much, but I mean like. And now it's Trey Turner. I mean like the, basically the Rockies, they're not as good as the Nationals and Twins. I did the Twins are only 9-1 and they're juiced up as they're overall, but here not really. Ah. These bullpens are like St. Louis. Well, St. Louis, one's in left center field and right center field. Here, there's one in left center field and then one right down the right field line. And, but in right field, there's a taller wall. And yeah, 3-1, uh, two outs. Here's Bryce Harper over on the game. Oh, I realize it. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Well, it's an L8 and the three. Two and a half in Nationals in the video. I have to the fourth inning. So you have one more inning. Try to. Matthew Ross is a pitcher's umpire because he basically caught every ball that was on the corner besides one a strike. Like, it didn't matter if it up and down, inside corner, outside corner. I don't know how Dave Lawrence. Well, not going to see that one as he swung. It's tailing away. It's caught, though. Their territory, two outs. And it was tailing so far left. New ball fill it, it physics. And it only shows Sitsian, it wouldn't do that much. Here's one and one. And it's one and two as he fouled down the right field line. Ball sit strike. I believe the first one I threw in the game. Here a wall, right? Oh! Based on a dirty guy, piece of it. Two seam fastball. Another foul ball. Change up. Another foul ball. Going uh, to pitch. Another foul ball. Another change up low. Here we go. Might crush it. Uh oh, that might be bad. Maybe I should have let it not. There's two outs though, but there does the perfect game and there does the no hitter. There's two outs though. 
memorable first 15. I thought maybe he was going to be content to stop at second, but no way. He barrels in the third with a triple. Maybe that wakes up the dugout, too. Good to pitch. Another foul ball. And another foul ball. Here we go. Got him. Middle of four to the Nationals. Here's Ryan Zimmerman. He hung that. That's a curveball. And, and yeah, center fielder dives and catches it. Seriously? Now it's Daniel Murphy. He's one for one with a double and a run. He's been throwing that curveball. You can tell it was a curveball. That's a fastball. And two for two in the game. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And down off from the RB the uh, R RBI ground out. Here now the two two. And yeah. Find it right at the left fielder. At the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Three and two. Okay, the runner has to stay. And we don't want to the curveball. I haven't guessed one, have I? And yeah, almost at the runner. Zero speed, got him. Barely, I just step. Well, that's all for the episode. And the four, it is two and the Nationals. I'll tell you in the next episode who won. I remember. That's video. Because next video probably will be in about a week. I don't know. This needs a ch charge anyways. How do you want to listen to her for, before uh, the video ends? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's time for close the no board. If that's episode, if it, if it was national, I would, I would listen to it. But it's like Phillies. I just know, oh, he's not happy with their performance. Yeah. Okay, it's time for close the no board. If that's episode, it's the like button. So try if you have yet. Tell your friend that these videos, and you know, I'm going to see you in episode number six of the Washington National, Nationals franchise series. See you in episode number six, and eat a lot of bacon.